this is serious. So, Sonolu in a very big trouble may land in jail after this trial. See what the evidence is. Mm -hmm. Father and son, they will always be in the same sh in the same ship. You see that? Um, this is actually coming directly from the Labour Party governorship aspirants by name Rhodes Vivo, the guy from Labour Party who was actually defeated by um, Governor Sowolu. Uh, Vivo has um, submitted twenty thousand documents before the tribunal to prove his victory. Yes, that he actually won the election, not uh, uh, the one uh, actually won by Sowolu. He said that Sowolu won the election by fraud. By fraud. In fact, that is one one of uh, that's what the uh, what uh, one of the documents is actually posting out. Okay, and uh, another came up by saying that. Um, Sohulu actually uh, did uh, actually instructed the, the 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 talks to destroy the election intentionally. Other uh, was later now pretending by trying to dismiss them after all done. In fact, a lot a lot of things was uh, discovered in that very petition. When we go through it, you will see, you, you will hear more. You understand, you will hear more. But I will tell you that there is, there is suspiciousness in what has just been said right now. And, uh, and uh, it's like there is a reality in it, no doubt about it. Okay, let's quickly uh, check the content, my dear listeners. This is Morning News. The state governorship election petition tribunal has received more than 20,000 documents from Badibo Rudis Vivo, the Labour Party candidate for governor in the March 18 election. Who wants to contest Governor Babajide Sohulu's victory? The petitioner on Tuesday submitted the documents which were arranged in 13 boxes along with his schedule of evidence through his lead attorney, Mr. Olumide Ayeni. The petitioner was later told by the tribunal to grant access to the document to each and every respondent. To Tuesday, the responses were st we start reviewing the document and the review will end on Wednesday. The tribunal also postponed the petitioner's first witness appearance in support of his case until Wednesday. When the witnesses begin to testify, the document should be offered through them. The 13 boxes at the proceedings held papers related to the proceedings, including result sheets from various polling units, INEC forms EC9, EC8A, and B form EC40A from EC40G, Viva's report, and more in over 13,000 polling units. Dr. Ayeni, the petitioner's Anthony, had attempted to move an application before the proceedings, where adjoined to allow the petitioner to tender, use, and rely on a number of documents, including a report of inspection sworn testimony from a number of people listed on its applications and other electoral documents used or allegedly used in the election that was the subject of the petition. The first respondent in the lawsuit, INEC, was represented by Charles Edosome San, who called the application a ground moving motion in his response. He requested more time so that he could speak with his clients and decide whether or not to object to the application. The second and third respondent to the petition of Nobabajide Songwulu of Lagos State and his deputy of Bafemi Hamzat 
respectively we are represented by Moise Bane son and informed the tribunal that the case was not ready for hearing. The Anthony also pointed out that his clients still have time to respond to the application under the terms of paragraph 47 or 4 of the first schedule. Ah, the fight of the titans, my people, must they make use of uh, uh, of sand? No, be spotted. Everybody just carry sand. They, they, they follow body. Hey, <laughs> that is good. Oh. All right, my people. When I don't see the story as it goes, so um, body ball, body ball, body ball. In fact, this guy, I love him. He's just coming for the coming in for the first time and look at the wave that he was able to make. Look at the the, the traffic he was able to 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 to, to, to uh, attract during the election. You understand, but I will just tell you the humble truth. If not for the violence that um, uh, that, that the talks actually created on behalf of uh, of Sowolu, eh, by stopping people uh, from coming out to vote uh, for vote for for labor, I tell you, this guy would have still won Lagos State. He would have still won Lagos State. So what are we talking about? So I want to applaud him for that very confidence and strength. It's carried, very much carried. Okay. So my my people, you can now see that uh, there is a reality in the already concluded election. Okay. So um, please and please and please, I would like still like to hear from you on this that has just been put before us. Okay. Let's quickly know let's quickly hear from you and let's know what your take and what your opinion on this may be don't forget to leave them below the comment section <laughs>